Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And guys, we are going to be focusing on a specific species, the burbot. This was by a viewer request, and the place we're going to be taking you is going to be at a place called Moose Lake. Now, there are other places that burbot, burbot can be found, or burbot, or I don't know how they're pronounced exactly. That's the way I pronounce it, and that's the way I'm going to stick with it. But, as you can see, this is a fairly deep lake, 31 meters. Sturgeon's the biggest one I've pulled out of here. Now, the burbot don't get that big. But, I will tell you where they are located here. And the best places to fish for these guys are right here, close to shore, believe it or not. Usually they're a deep water fish, and but I found that in the spring and a lot of times in the winter you'll find them up here close by the uh, shallow areas. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go focus on there because we definitely want to get us some burbot here. But we're going to go to free fishing and I'm going to take it to morning in the spring to start off with and evening in winter is also good so we're gonna go ahead and start that off it does help to have certain types of gear with you and I'll show you once we get over there it's not too bad of a walk this isn't a majorly huge lake But right here up against the dock, I was catching them very well last time. So we're going to go ahead and drill us a hole here. Alright, now I was catching them off of this last time as well. Let me show you what this one is. It's called Autumn Leaves. It's not seriously expensive compared to some of the jigs, but it's been really good for catching these guys. And another one that's really good for catching them, guys, is this one called the Volcanic. As you can see, it says best for burbot. And like I said, this one is also best for burbot. Also good for sturgeon, apparently. I haven't really caught that many sturgeon, but so it says, anyway. Now. As far as these lures, I am using the orange scales. Again, best for burbot. The hook, I'm using the Africa. Now, there's none that's best for burbot, but it is good for it. So, that is why we're using that one. And I'm just using a medium sized rod because, honestly, there are some things in here that could snap it, but usually in this close and with these particular lures it doesn't happen too often so it's worth the risk but I'm gonna go ahead and start off using this particular lure it seems to me that I did more with doing a side to side motion with these guys up and down doesn't seem to do it for them let me go ahead and put some lure in there. Now whatever this is, it's pretty small. It's a roach. I think I'm going to switch over to my volcanic. That really is the best lure of all of them for these guys. If it doesn't do well here, we'll go over to the other spot. Last time I was here, they were biting pretty good, but actually that might have been winter in the evening when I was doing that, so I'm not 100% certain about that. Alright, let's see what we got here, guys. There you go. There's the first one. 
Yeah, they love the volcanic. That one is a must-have if you want to go for bourbon. Looks like I'm going to need some more lures here. I'm running a little on the low side. The attractant, I mean. There we go. There you go again. Now see, the thing is though, they do buy here pretty good, but they're kind of on the small side. <laughs> it's the only thing I noticed. So if you want to get them a little bit bigger, you need to go out to the next location that I found. Now if you come over here, and I'll show you on the map here, there's kind of a narrow area where it's a little bit more shallow between the these two areas here that's the area we're interested in and that's true for these guys they tend to be you would think they'd be in deep water but actually apparently they do their breeding in shallow water usually in between like two waterways like this now this is deeper obviously That should I mean we got some bigger fish down here. Again, the side to side. You can, or you could kind of do like a combination of the two, you know, a little bit up, a little bit side to side. But I have noticed that they tend to bite when you stop. So stopping every now and then and pausing is a good idea. There we go. And I'm betting you this is a burbot, guys. There you go. Last time I was fishing here, I also caught a pike in here. <laughs> I think like there's always one pike in the hole. But he went a whole lot bigger than the other ones. Let's see if we can't get a bigger one here. There we go. Well, this is bigger. But... Eh, you know, it's probably a burbot. It's not fighting as much as a pike usually does. But it is definitely bigger. No, it's a bream. <laughs> oh, be darned. Yeah, you might get bream too. I forgot about that. Yeah, I was thinking about doing an episode just on bream, but the bream, you usually get them much deeper most of the time. But there's some awesome spots for catching the bream like crazy. So I think that might be the one I focus on in the next episode. Or it might just happen in this one. Seems like <laughs> started off with a good size one there. This is not a big, big fish, but it's not bad. Now you can use the large rod with this, but I really want to use the medium so I could see. There you go, guys. The sensitivity. record burbot out of this game is but I am determined to get him it's like everybody goes for the 
the carp and the barracuda and I'm like you can go for the, some of the smaller ones you never know you'll get your name on the leaderboard oh boy okay it might be a pike guys he hit pretty damn hard and he's fighting pretty good yeah, burbot are a little more lethargic <laughs> No! Nice burbot, guys. There you go. That's what I wanted. That's a nice burbot. 3.67 pounds. That's what I was hoping to get. Yeah, I think the biggest one I've cut out of here is just a little over 5 pounds. I know they come bigger than that, at least in real life, but I love the colorations they have on them too. Okay, this is a little fish, well a little compared to what I just got. Yep, another bream. Alright, I am going to go ahead and pull stakes here, guys, because I want to go check something out here. But first, I gotta go get some more lure or attractant or whatever. Didn't realize just how low I was. While we're at it, we'll go ahead and sell the fish. Let's see. Bait. And orange scales. I'll buy some couple of things of them there. Now there's another place on this map I've been wanting to try for these guys. I figured why not do it together, guys. And that's over here at this little lake that's all by its lonesome. I didn't try this last time because I wanted to try it when I was actually recording. Sometimes in lakes like that that are isolated from others, you'll get some big fish. I get in there and nothing else messes with them. But I'm going to try right about here. It's about the same, maybe about the same depth, I think, than I was in the other locations figure it can't hurt to try it anyway now there is a mormishka that works real well with these guys as well and we might take a look at that for a moment I'll show you what bait to use on the Mormishka. Can't tell how big this guy is. He's a perch. He's a poach. Put a little bit of a tract in there. Might, if I don't get anything this time, go in the deeper part of this too. I don't know why. Whoa. 
But I have this gut feeling that there's bourbon in here. There's some big perch, though. Yeah, let's go a little deeper. My gut is telling me that there is something in, in this deep part of this little bitty lake here. There we go. Now that's a that was a good bite. That was pretty healthy. stinks <laughs> I don't know how I do it don't know how I do it I just knew there was something down in the center part I was like I just got this feeling I got a feeling yeah always check out areas that are isolated like that because you never know what you're going to catch. Don't always assume that the big fish are in the big lakes. Bream here. Of course, I kind of expected that to happen occasionally, so. But we're going to try one more time and probably call this an episode, but we are going to go visit some of the other lakes here shortly for the burbot. I'm going to see if I can't find and catch the biggest one. Maybe I can make the leaderboard. Ah, well, looks like that's just going to be a bream from this point forward. All right, let's go ahead and head on back, cash these fish in, and I wish I had a little more time to just mess around, but we will continue to do this. And like I said, I think next time we're going to focus a little more on the bream this time. Some seriously good spots all over the place for the bream. Got caught up on the tree. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and sell our fish. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Ice Lakes. So until then, guys, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.